you today, I am going to um, inform a little bit for you and then explain some of the neuroscience behind what I am doing. And I'll do that for about 25 minutes or so. Then we will have James uh, come up and do his thing, and then he will also explain the neuroscience um, behind what he does. So, uh, first question, um, how many people believe in magic? And it's okay to not put your hand up. But uh, the exits are there, there, there. <laughs> now, about three people put their hands up. How many people, next question, think that taking a little sponge ball like that, just like that, and putting it in this hand like that, and again, like that, and just shaking it and making it vanish. How many people think that's magic? It's not. It's not. But you were one of the guys who said you believed in magic. What that is called is an illusion. Now, an illusion, by definition, is you're looking at it, you hear it, you think it's happening, but it's not really happening. So, nobody has power. See, people think, I don't believe in magic. Well, because they don't believe that people can actually make a ball disappear. And they're right. No one in any case in the world, any documented laboratory scientific case, never recorded, has anyone ever shown telekinetic ability, shown the ability to actually make things disappear. So magicians accomplish this through illusion, and so much of it relies on the science of the brain. We have been hardwired, and I'm sure you guys know this, the brain anyway, to make life easier for us complete pictures, and I'll give you a few examples of that in a second. For example, the ball goes in, right? You saw that, and I do it again, and your brain said, that ball is in there. <laughs> it's not, okay? So not only is the brain made to make life easy for us, it's made to make life even easier for magicians. Another example is if I just throw the ball up like this, and you track it, and I now, just uh, usually people kind of think they see the ball disappear right about here. Again, you're following it, and there's cues going on where I'm looking. I'm looking as if the ball's here, but it's not. So, to be clear, magic is not having power. Okay? That's the illusion part. What magic is, is when you think you saw it go in there, and I open my hand, and it's not there, and you go, for a split second. That's magic. Magic is a feeling. 